people. <laughs> okay. Um, Zoe and I are here, are in Rigo right now. I didn't uh, take the mountain trail because um, I can't, I'm not supposed to be doing mountains today. Um, had a small operation on uh, Tuesday. So I've been off work and off the trails and off everything <laughs> for, since Tuesday, so. Um, but I had to get out today to try our new uh, system, Zoe's system. Um, go, go, Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Her harness and uh, I have an attachment to me so I don't need to hold her nor do I have to attach it to my backpack so I can actually go walking with no backpack if I want to I always like to have a little one so um yeah so I want to try it out um I'm feeling okay I just have a I can't say pain it's more like a pressure where I got the operation but I don't know doctor said I was able to go back to work today if I had a shift I don't have any shifts so I didn't go to work but um, so I assume if I can go back to work I can come do a hike although the nurse said calm your nerves woman uh, <laughs> she told me slowly so that's what I'm doing coming for a hike slowly but with Zoe it's not slow especially with this harness thing she's really pulling me but I don't feel pulling it's just that I feel um like she's keeping me going you know I like it because sometimes you just I don't know it's hard to explain you just tattle along because you know the dogs just go in there wherever they want to go and uh but with this, I have no choice because Zoe don't, won't let me just skedaddle slowly. Now Zoe, puddle of mud. So yeah, we're here and just enjoying being out here because nothing extraordinary here to see. I haven't been here um, at this time of year. I've been here in the winter and I've been here in the fall and I think I've been here in uh, spring, winterish spring, but I've never been here at this time when there's still all the foliage and everything. So see something interesting, I'll share. See you later, bye bye. I haven't seen a, a heart on my hikes for a long time. At the beginning I used to see them a lot. Now I don't anymore. Zoe, thank you for that. But she's so pretty. It's okay. It's okay, pretty dog, for ruining my shot of the heart-shaped rock. It's okay. <sighs> Zoe, she has to be in the spotlight. She's just made to be in the spotlight, isn't she? Zoe. Here, I don't know if you see it properly. Now oh, it's full of hair now. But that's her harness. I like it. It's... I like it. 
It has uh, reflective stripes too and everything so if we go walking or something in the night. If you like to run, um, you can use this type of uh, <coughs> contraction to run with your dog <coughs> because this is the um, this is the triple traction system. Um, there is a, just a simple traction for people going for walks on the side of the road, you know, kind of thing. And, um, yeah. And um, then there's a other system that's for dogs that don't really pull, I guess. Because there's less uh, straps in the back of the butt. My butt. Um, and this one, well, it's for dogs that pull. And um, also... I can add, uh, I'll show you in another video I took before my operation, when I got this thing, I went to try it out. And I have Marley, my other dog, my Border Collie, attached to this. There's a, like another line. I didn't get her a harness because she doesn't come with, come with this uh, often, so she just needs a... Well, she actually inherited Zoe's old harness, so we might bring her on our trip this weekend. We don't know yet, because Marley gets sick in a car. She gets car sick, so I'm gonna be two hours driving. We'll see. We might bring her. This morning she wasn't too happy that I brought Zoe, not her, because last time I brought her to take a little walk. And uh, she saw that she could come when she's when uh, I'm alone. Usually she comes only when I have my husband or my son with me, so we can have each a dog. Or sometimes my husband, he's a wild guy, he just takes two dogs with two leashes. And sometimes he was <laughs> remember once we were in um, doing Le Mont Sourire for my birthday, and uh, we were on snowshoes. <laughs> Crazy guy. <laughs> he was running down the mountain in his snowshoes with the two dogs, <laughs> pulling him. <laughs> he just went pop. <laughs> it was just so fucking hilarious. Oh my god. And that has happened many times, especially with the snowshoes. Because I, mean, I love my husband, but he's so funny. Uh, when he goes with snowshoes, he, he he walks and he lifts his legs, his knees like so high. So imagine him running with the two dogs, with his, running knee high with the two dogs with snowshoes. Oh, but it's just, it's just so freaking funny. Anyways. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, that's ha that has happened a couple of times. But he's just so funny. One time I'll have to just film him. That'd be nasty, but it's just so funny. Ugh. So, I haven't been on this trail for a long time, I guess, because I forgot that we came to across um, another road before we got to the viewpoint. It's longer than I remember. It really is. Uh, what I like too is that here, if I can get to it, if it will let me. Right here, I don't know if you can see it there, because it's dark. It's like a... You can actually use this as a... To hold the dog when you're crossing the street like this. Okay, so this is actually a parking. Well, I don't think they had this before as a parking. Well, it's true, I haven't been here in the summertime, so... Okay. 
Hier ist sie so. Okay. Well, we're at 3.33 kilometers, and they said the viewpoint was at 3.79, so we should be getting there soon. Okay, so this is the system with the double um, leash to it. Um, I purchased the system at um, wintersonsports.ca. Uh, I will be putting the link on the bottom of the video. What I like about this system is then when Zoe is doing like she is now, okay, now it's now she kind of mixed it up there, but uh, she's listening to things, and I know that any minute she could just start after a squirrel or something. With this system I have, I'll show you later uh, exactly how it is on me. Uh, I can control her, so there's no more running and uh, not being able to hold her when she wants to go after a squirrel. Like right now she absolutely wants to go there and we can't go there during the summer, so. Okay, Zoe. I remember I fell here once, so that's really how it's made. In the front. You see Zoe? Zoe, you see? In the front, you have this. So, it goes like this, and she's pulling. And this is actually a bungee part. It's really hard to move, but it's still bungee. So when she pulls, it doesn't really jerk you. It doesn't jerk you as much when she pulls. So, yeah, I really like this. I hope you were able to see that. So we'll continue. finally arrived um, they said it was 4.79 kilometers to the viewpoint 3.79 kilometers I said 4 but it's actually 4.14 kilometers to the viewpoint here Okay. Oh. Zoe and I are gonna try to go up here. Last time I came, I was kind of a bit chicken shit, but uh, it is kind of steep. This is Zoe.
ciseaux. Ah, il y a peut-être ciseaux. Ciseaux. Oui. I didn't know there was like a you know, thing like a trail up here. I don't see much because of the trees. Oh well. If you can see better over there. If you doubt it, there's more trees. I guess so, you know, I have a little snack here and drink some water. I think she needs to shade a little bit. Zoe, it's a show. Huh? I guess she's hot. I'll let her relax there a little bit. Give her water. Zoe and I are here um, at the viewpoint. Uh, there's not much to see, but I love this place. Uh, these places in the Monteregian hills, they call them. Uh, Rigo is one, um, but we call it Rigo Mountain. But um, I'm not on the mountain. I'm not. I'm on the mountain, but I, I do not climb up the mountain. So before someone starts. Give me shit, cause I'm on, I'm not up a mountain. It looks like it, but it's not. So when I came here last time, my hair sucks. I know. Um, uh, when I came here last time, it was um, spring, and here I'll show you a little bit, but you can't see much. But see, I'm up here. It's not a mountain. It's just like a little hill. I went up. And Zoe's taking a little break. I'm gonna get, give her some of my beef jerky. She's kind of hot there, so I'm gonna give her. I gave her some water. I'll give her more. Um, her beef jerky's there. That's we're gonna be snacking on. I'll give her. I'll give her a piece. Zoe, have it too. Have it too. Have it too. She's gonna like that. It's smoked beef jerky I made on my on my smoker. That's how a golden retriever eats. They don't have a break. <sighs> no wonder she's kind of chubby. She's always been my chubby puppy. That's so we. Mm. So, anyways, yeah, I've been here before um, in the springtime, not this year, but a couple of years ago. And you can see more of the view because there's no foliage. And, um, but it's still where it feels great to be here. I mean, I haven't been out in a long time, even before, uh, before my operation on Tuesday, I, I had not been out much, uh, before that. Except I think when we went camping at Charleston Lake. Um, so yeah, it feels amazing. Um, we will be going this weekend backpacking kind of like well it's like half backpacking but cheating a little bit I don't know if that actually exists but because we'll be backpacking to our campsite because <clears throat> you can't bring a car and uh, they will be bringing like I won't bring backpacking food I'll bring normal food and stuff like that they're gonna bring my cooler over there and my wood so but all the rest is coming on my back. And we'll be going there. Uh, Friday. The Sunday. And then in October. We are actually going to Frontenac. Finally. Finally going to Frontenac. Backpacking for like three days. That's going to be awesome. I know it's a long time to wait. But I was checking AccuWeather. And there's 
saying beautiful weather. Um, they're actually like accurate. I usually use the net uh, weather network, but for long term, I use AccuWeather, and they're usually accurate because I remember last year there were like three months in advance they were saying that in, in October at Frontenac it would be like raining. <laughs> yeah, that's actually how it was. So this time they're saying it's supposed to be nice. So hopefully it will, because I am. When I think about it, I didn't even go backpacking in Frontenac last year. Because the in, when I usually go in May, uh, I went and camped up on that mountain, <coughs> Mont Ham, instead of going backpacking. So I backpacked up the mountain and slept there. And then in October, we went uh, to, uh, in October, we went backpacking on that island. In September, we went on that island. We had uh, backpacking five days. We had a visit of Florence, the hurricane. So I, the week after I was supposed to go backpacking in Frontenac and it was supposed to be the same weather, so we didn't go. So I didn't even go. Last year I'm really like in need of going. Um, so I can't wait to go this year. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully it'll be nice. And um, I'm gonna convince my son Phil to come there. He's saying he's not coming, but slowly I think he's gonna be coming. Oh yeah, we'll just enjoy a little break here and um, I'll try to share pictures later. Um, not much to take pictures of here, but anyways. Um, I did take a nice video showing um, my new equipment for Zoe. So I will be putting that on my new YouTube channel later. I'll continue enjoying this beautiful sun. It oh, feels so good. <laughs> I haven't been out in so long. Amazing. It's not an amazing view like I showed earlier. You can't see much because of the trees, but I see, but you can't probably see. So, see you later. Bye. <laughs>